I will never forget our son Demetrius. On days that my back hurt, he would put my shoes on and tie them up for me. He would come home from school and he would fix us something to eat before his father came home and cooked us dinner. He was always there for me and I for him. I will miss Demetrius and I have enough memories to last me a lifetime. That child stole my baby's life and he should never be able to do this to anyone ever again. Thank you. You're really lucky there's so many police in this room right now. You can smile all you want. My family will move on, not you. You have ruined your life, not to mention Adams. He even gave you a ride, Nick, even gave you a ride from school. He was thinking about inviting you back to that, to that table because he felt sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. Things I was looking forward to, I will never get to see. My baby brother graduate high school, go to college, graduate college, get married, have children. I will never be an aunt and my children will never know their uncle. I could go on and on about how many things the shooter has taken away from us, but the most important, <clears throat> but the most important thing is he took away the life of not only my only brother, my parents' only son, but the lives of two other boys as well. He took the lives of three young men who were doing what they were supposed to do, go to school. After today, I refuse to give him even a second of my thoughts. He is repulsive. We don't speak his name and we never will. He will be forgotten as he rots in prison. And I will be glad knowing his existence every day, every minute, every breath is controlled by rules and that he is away from society, locked up in a cage like the animal he is. <laughs>